People gathered from around the world to see the launch of a SpaceX rocket called Goes You from Cape Canaveral. And meteorologist Robert Spetty gets very excited about these things. He breaks down the importance of today's launch. It's an upgraded weather satellite, the Goes You launching from Cape Canaveral. So I came down here to Titusville to watch this rocket go up. Oh my goodness. See this stuff there go. And people came from all over the world and locally to watch this liftoff. In the UK, so it's about an hour outside London. Down here specifically to watch today's <laughs> launch. So what's important about this specific launch? I talked to Jim Vellante, the NOAA GEO Assistant Director, about it. So the GOES-U mission is to provide continuous 24 by 7 environmental monitoring of both the Earth and the solar environment uh, and for uh, the Americas and the Western Hemisphere and the United States in particular. Big question is why spend the money to send up a new weather satellite when we already have some in orbit? So NOAA and NASA have partnered over the last 50 years to provide those weather satellites that you mentioned, but they are machines and they, they do you know, eventually uh, fail and break and wear out. And so what we do with the GO series is make sure that we have continuous coverage for the population of the, not only the United States, but as I mentioned, the Western Hemisphere through the GOES programs that are timed with the production and deployment and operationalization of these satellites such that we do have continuous monitoring of severe storms like hurricanes, uh, you know, severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. It's rather remarkable how far this technology has come since the original weather satellite, the Tiros-1, back in 1960. The Tyros satellite was providing two images a day of black and white imagery. Um, from the 1960s, and that was considered advanced at the time. And 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 today's satellites can provide 30 second 30 second updates of of uh, 1,000 by 1,000 square. Uh, we do look uh, continuously at the United States every 10 minutes, and and just to give you a sort of a numbers uh, look at that, the the amount of data that the satellites generate in, for, from the GOES-R series and GOES-U in particular in six months would overtake all of the data that was collected from the 60s up through you know, 2016 or 2017. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News on your side.